Hello, and welcome back to Death Roll. Coming at you to tell you about some of D&D 5e's more obscure mechanics. These videos will teach you how to use them both as a DM and as a player character in the hopes of making your game more dynamic. Hey kid, I noticed you were uh, new to Dungeons and Dragons. Ah, it's okay. Tons of new people are coming into D&D these days. How about I teach you how to be better than the rest, huh? You like the idea? Smart kid. You've probably heard something along the lines of coffee lock before, yeah? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it. It ain't gonna just be it. Disclaimer. Consult your DM before trying these. They might want to kick your teeth in. Ah, uh, the coffee lock. A classic. So how does it work? Well, first you'll need a level in both Sorcerer and Warlock. Next, using flexible casting, we can turn those Sorcery points into regular spell slots. After that, we turn our pack slots into Sorcery points. Then we take a little nappy nap, that's what the pros call a short rest, to regain our pack slots. Then, turn the Sorcery points into spell slots. And basically, we do that over and over and over again. And congrats, kid! You've just unlocked the secret to infinite spell slots. And probably some other stuff. Whatever. Anyways, point is, instead of taking a long rest with the rest of your group, you can just take multiple short rests. Not the best option for regening health, but who cares? A small price to pay for infinite fireball. Now, now, don't get too hasty. Depending on if your DM adheres to a certain rule set, don't worry, I'm not a narc, I won't say it. Chances are you're gonna start picking up a few levels of exhaustion if you keep going like that. Which is fair. And of course, can be solved with a good old long rest, but then you kinda lose the whole infinite spell slots thing. Now, you probably got the idea running through your head of pairing this with a Warforged, or perhaps the Aspect of the Moon granted to you by those Warlock levels. Now hold your horses, buckaroo. Jeremy Crawford <laughs> said himself that Aspect of the Moon doesn't remove the need for a long rest, so that's a bit of a bust. As for Warforged, you know what? Just go ask your DM on that. Chances are there are a lot of different people with a lot of different ideas about how Warforged and their lack of needing a rest works, so just consult your DM on the matter first. Anyways, who cares about all that? Just become a cocaine lock! That's right, pairing this little number with greater restoration from Divine Soul Sorcerer actually removes the need for a long rest, as any exhaustion you get can just be done away with with said greater restoration. All it'll take is a hundred GP of diamond dust right up the nose. With that divine soul, you'll also get cure wound. Someone ever call you a one trick pony? And it really hurt your feelings? Stick it to them by being good at literally everything. Welcome back to the death roll cooking show. Today we're making something dubious. All right, first, Add the three proficiencies Bard gets at level 1 to your pot. Then sprinkle on some College of Lore for another three proficiencies at level 3. Next, who doesn't love a bit of Cleric? Shave some of that off into the pot, and that's gonna give you another two proficiencies from a short list. Then, cover your bases with another two proficiencies from the Knowledge Domain. You also get to double your proficiency bonus for any ability check that uses those two skills. Alright, and to top this all off, we just want to sprinkle on a little bit of rogue for another four proficiencies. And all the expertises you're getting on top of all that is just added flavor. <laughs> Now look at that everybody, we've successfully made a jackass. A jackass with proficiency in every skill if you did this right, and it's not even the worst possible triple class combo. Alright, now you may find yourself asking, okay, so I can be good in every skill, how about being good in combat though? I'm glad you asked, meet Gloomstalker Ranger plus Assassin Rogue. 
Your roles permitting, after taking Gloomstalker, you should have a pretty cracked initiative thanks to being able to add your Wisdom modifier to the role. Now, looking at Assassin, you get advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn in combat yet. And if that creature is surprised, it's an auto crit. Picking up the pieces yet? Good. Because Gloomstalker also gets an extra attack on their first round in combat. That attack also gets an extra d8 of damage. At level 5 with Ranger, you also get an extra attack. So at level 8, with 5 levels in Ranger and 3 in Rogue, Gloomstalker and Assassin, if you get the first hit off in combat against a surprise creature, you get 3 attacks that all crit, plus an extra 2 d8 of damage because of the crit, and also 4 d6 of sneak attack damage, again because of the crit, plus all your modifier damage if that all hit and uh yeah depending on how good your roles were and what you were fighting it's pretty cooked by now also fun fact with gloomstalker you are invisible to any creature that's relying on dark vision to see you congratulations you are now officially a nuisance to top this all off the honorable mention moon druid plus barbarian Pretty self-explanatory. At level 2 with Moon Druid, you can Wild Shape as a bonus action. As well, turn into a CR1 creature, such as, oh, I don't know, a bear. From here, you can use your action to rage instead of waiting for your next bonus action. And now you're a complete indomitable beast. At level 5, however, with three of those invested in Barbarian, you can take Totem Warrior, turn into a bear. Then, while being Totem of the Bear, be resistant to literally everything except psychic damage. Have fun, kids. There are more busted class combos out there, but you'll have to find them on your own. Here's something fun to do, though. Suggest your DM run a one-shot, where you and your friends are, say, eh, level 10 or something. And then, each one of you can play one of the combos listed here. Your DM will love it! and will definitely want to run for you all again. Thank you for watching this death roll video. If you did enjoy or find this video informational, then consider liking and subscribing. Comment something if you feel so inclined. And be sure to show some of our other videos some love. Thank you for watching.